Hello friends, this is Abhishek Agrawal here and in this particular tutorial I will be starting with the assembly of screw jack. So far now we have created all the parts of screw jack as well as we have also learned how to apply a material on them. So now we will start with the assembly. Uh, in Katia B5 we have a very separate workbench for assembly design that is we can navigate from here that is start mechanical design and assembly design. So what we do in assembly workbench is that we uh, insert already existed part and we apply a number of constraints between two assembled parts so that uh, we could uh, restrict the uh, degree of freedom between them so as uh, in this particular tutorial i'll be i'll show you how to assemble uh, nut as well as body of screw jack and as our assembly progresses i'll explain uh, more and more commands and advanced features in assembly workbench so stay tuned and keep watching my video uh, to learn assembly so now what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna insert our body which is uh, we can do it from here existing component so now it is asking me to select a component into which my existing component will be inserted so that will be my product one so select a body from here yeah here you can see uh, already existed body um, we'll insert one more component here that is a nut using the same manner so select product again and select a nut so as you can see the nut is right inside the body so we need to drag it uh, to drag any particular part we we'll, we use a manipulation command which is right over here in a move toolbar uh, you can see the first command over here that is manipulation uh, by using a manipulation command we can drag any particular part along any axis so if we need to drag our nut along the z-axis we can do it right here we can also drag any part by using any uh, any axis by using this uh, option over here we can also rotate any part along any axis like this uh, in manipulation command we can see a checkbox at the bottom that is with respect to constant checkbox now what is the advantage of using this checkbox i'll quickly show you um, just after one minute um, now what we do uh, it is always a good practice assemb while assembling uh, to fix a base part of any assembly so here uh, our body is our base part so we need to fix it uh, before starting actual assembly so that we can do by using a fix, com fix constraint which is right over here uh, it is a constraint toolbar so if we select a fix command over here and we select the body you can see our body get fixed so now quickly go to the manipulation tool and try to drag this body along any axis say z axis so here you can see i am not able to drag this part but if i uncheck this checkbox and try to drag i can drag it so the advantage of checkbox is that it uh, it allows to drag only with respect to the constraints so it is a very important uh, it is very important to always check this checkbox while doing assembly so now we have fixed our base part this body now what we'll do uh, we will coincide the axis of uh, nut and the body so that we could uh, assemble them so we can use uh, we can use a coincide constraint uh, to coincide the axis so when we select this particular constraint we have to select both the axis and yes here we can see we have uh, coincide the axis of these parts now if we click on update button we can see the updated assembly um, now to do the actual assembly we need to uh, we need to provide a contact constraint between the two uh, two contact surfaces so that we can do by using this contact constraint command which is right over here so when you select a constant constraint you have to select two surfaces which are actually will be in contact that is this one and this one so yes we have applied a con contact constraint between them so quickly click on update button and here you can see the updated assembly so uh, this is it for this particular tutorial we will be uh, continuing with the uh, assembly of other parts in next tutorials till then keep watching my videos and in case of any query clarification or any doubt you can comment below you can also write to me at abhishek.a32 at the rate of gmail.com 
so till then thank you very much